YouTube family, it's Sarah, and it's Friday. This is my week 69 weight loss surgery update. Out from VSG, your vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery, which I had November 12th. No, which I had November 30th, 2012, <laughs> in Mexicali, Mexico, with Dr. Aceves. Um, I have lots of cool stuff to talk about, um, but I will start with the numbers as usual. Highest weight was 460. Surgery day weight, 420. Last week, I was 218.2. <laughs> this morning, I weighed in 217.6. So that's a loss of 0.6 pounds, or about half a pound this week. I did have a fairly big loss last week, um, so I wasn't really expecting much this week. I was happy to just see the scale go down. Uh, it did fluctuate a lot this week. The lowest weight I saw this week was actually 215.8. So... Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I was dehydrated that day, I have no idea. But um, there was a lot of fluctuation this week, but that's that's kind of where we're at. The scale is moving down. Um, nothing really exciting to report about my eating this week. been doing the same thing, pretty much trying to keep it fairly simple, eating a lot of chicken, dense proteins, uh, protein shakes, yogurt, cheese, eggs, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Um, we'll probably be doing the same thing next week uh, uh, until I get to Tampa. Um, this weekend might be a little tough because I'm eating out, uh, both Saturday and Sunday, uh, probably like most of my meals just cause I'm not really going to be home. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but, um, you know, generally eating out is not that bad for me. I can usually find a choice that's going to work. So I'm not too concerned. So let's see. I have been teasing you guys talking about some exciting news that I had to share, but I couldn't share quite yet. So Hopefully, <laughs> I'm able to share now because I think it's been semi-publicized, but I'm really excited to announce that I will be speaking this this year <laughs> at the Obesity Health Conference in August. Uh, it's August 15th and 16th in Los Angeles, California. Um, I was lucky enough to attend Obesity Health last year. I had an amazing, amazing time, and uh, that's really sort of where Team VSG kind of came to be, and... Um, so it's it's a special memory for me, and it's really special for me to actually be involved in the conference this year. I'm going to be presenting a workshop on Friday called, With a Little Help from Your Friends, The Importance of Support on Your Weight Loss Journey. Um, and that's a topic that you guys know is close to my heart. Um, I'll be talking not only about why and how support is important to your journey at any stage, but also um, giving you ideas on where you can get support that you might not have thought of, um, and, you know, how you can get involved in the community. So I'm really, really excited to be able to share that with everyone who's going to be at the conference. I had an amazing time last year. I would love to see you guys there. Um, if you're interested, I will put the information below, uh, the link to the Obesity Help events website. Um, the conference is very reasonably priced. It is an amazing time. I would definitely encourage you, especially if you're on the West Coast, uh, to join us. But, I mean, I made the trip from the East Coast last year. It was, it was worth it. Uh, speaking of the East Coast, unfortunately, this event is exactly the same weekend as the East Coast meet and greet and uh, in Atlantic City. So I will be missing that. I am so disappointed because there's so many people who I want to see who are going to be there and I wish that I could be there if it was not the exact same weekend. I would definitely be there with you guys. Um, so I'm a little bummed about that, but I am super excited about getting the chance to um, talk to other uh, people on a weight loss journey um, at Obesity Help and just sort of share, uh, I guess, something that I think is really important to your success, especially as a weight loss surgery patient. So yeah, that's my big news. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Let's see, there was a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, so yeah, I wanted to talk about um, NSVs this week because it's been kind of interesting. I, I've had, you know, as you get further into your journey, I think the NSVs get sort of fewer and farther between. Um, but this week I seem to have a lot of NSVs and I, I don't really know why that was, but um, I'm not complaining. Um, so Sunday night, I was at karaoke as I usually am. 
And one of my friends had decided it would be really fun if we had a lip sync contest. Uh, so if you guys have seen Jimmy Fallon and his uh, lip sync offs on his show lately, um, we are kind of inspired by that. And uh, we are, I've said before, you know, the guy who runs the karaoke, the KJ, his name is Mike. He's a good friend of ours. And he thought it would be a great idea too. So we sort of mixed that into karaoke. And the rules were no costumes, no props, no live singing, just lip syncing to the song of your choice. One song only. Uh, and it was voted on by um, the bar patrons. So um, I say I wanted to sing a song, a real diva song with a lot of drama. So I chose It's All Coming Back to Me Now by Celine Dion. And um, when I when I got to the bar, I happened to be wearing something that was a bit more revealing of my body, I think, than I would normally wear. I had new jeans on, so they were, like, not tight, but fitted, so they actually showed, you know, my curves. And I had a fitted shirt on, and I just had a little shrug on, so it didn't actually cover my back or anything. And so many people commented to me on how great I looked, which was awesome. But my best friend, Max, came in, and he... um he was like, oh my gosh, like, look at you. And he was like, he just wanted to touch my waist. And he actually texted me last night and said that, he said, when I saw you on Sunday, it was breathtaking. And I was so proud of you. Um, and, and that was just amazing. And I mean, he sees me every week. So I don't know. A lot of people have mentioned lately that they feel like I suddenly look a lot thinner. I don't know why I haven't lost a lot of weight, but you know, everyone says that, right? You don't lose weight, you lose inches. So who knows? So anyway, I got up there to do my thing and I went all out. Um, VSG Kirk, if you're watching, it was totally uh, RuPaul's Drag Race worthy. I lip synced for my life, girl. I had the arm, I had everything going on. It was fantastic. Um, the thing I realized after I was done was that I never once thought about how I looked while I was singing. I was dancing, I was singing, I was doing my little sexy moves. I never felt self-conscious. I never thought about how I looked. I just did what I felt. And it was so freeing because any other time I would have been so self-conscious. You know, at 460 pounds, I still would have gone up there and rocked it, but I would have been super self-conscious. And the entire time I would have been thinking about how what I was doing looked to other people. I just didn't care. I just got out there and I did it. And I won the trophy. <laughs> I won the contest, best lip sync, lip off 2014. <laughs> so it was just a silly thing, but it was super fun. And it was just a really, it really hit me how much things have changed, um, how confident I was. And that was something I, that would have never happened 240 pounds ago. So that was special. Um, I did lots of shopping this week. Uh, I had to do some shopping for Tampa because, again, I didn't really have a whole lot of summer stuff or actually a whole lot of clothes in general that really fit me properly right now because um, I've just recently kind of dropped a size, I guess. So, you know, I did my shopping at, like, Old Navy and Forever 21 and Victoria's Secret for the very first time in my life, something I never thought I would do. I bought bras at Victoria's Secret. Yeah, crazy. Um... You know, I I took a picture of my Victoria's Secret bag and my Forever 21 bag. And those are places I would have never dreamed that I could shop at. Like, wouldn't have even crossed my mind. Um, it is kind of amazing to me that I'm pretty much in that place where I can go into almost any store, find something that will fit. Um, I still feel uncomfortable shopping on, you know, the regular side of the store in a regular store. Um... But, you know, there were a couple things where I put them on and I really felt like, okay, yeah, I'm getting somewhere here. It's it's looking good. I mean, again, the skin and all that is a big issue for me. Um, but, you know, if I am wearing really restrictive shapewear, it's not bad. Um, that's something else I wanted to talk about because somebody had actually asked me about that, um, had sent me a message privately just asking me about plastics. Um, I don't remember if I've talked about this before. I know in previous videos I talked about the idea of, um, getting a plastic consult, consult this June with Dr. Sauceda, um, who's going to be hosting a patient reunion and doing consults in, um, Las Vegas. Uh, in the middle of June. 
and and then possibly having surgery at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. I have decided to not uh, go to Vegas to get a consult this year. I have decided to put off plastics until probably the end of 2015. I really feel like I'm not where I want to be um, with my body quite yet and I really want things to sort of settle out before I pursue plastics. So um, I will be getting a plastics consult while I'm in Tampa, just sort of a preliminary thing um, with another surgeon just to kind of see. But um, I'm pretty committed to Dr. Sauceda. I know a number of people who have gone to him. Um, he really specializes in um, weight loss surgery patients and he's done some amazing work. So he's pretty much my plastic surgeon of choice at this point, but I am kind of putting off plastics, putting it on the back burner uh, for probably another at least a year and a half. Um, just because I really want to give my body a chance to recover. Um, I know a lot has changed already just with me being around the same weight for, you know, four or five months, like within like 20 pounds probably. Um, a lot has changed with my body. And so I want to give it time to kind of settle in and see what happens before I go ahead with plastics. Uh, I definitely will be going ahead with plastics. I just want to be sure that I'm getting the best result that I can. Um, so that's my plastics update. <laughs> uh, I definitely, of course, will be documenting um, that process for you guys. Um, and I'll make sure that, you know, I update after Tampa as well. I'll try and make a video on my plastics consult from Tampa and the results of that. Uh, Tuesday, again, I will be talking about Tampa. Um, not so much about Tampa, but just about kind of my mentality going into it. And I'll be talking about eating, drinking, partying, all that sort of stuff. Um, not because I think I have to justify my behavior or anything to anyone, but just because I want to kind of be real about my journey. And a few people have made comments um, that I really, you know, feel like I need to address or, or answer questions that they've asked. So uh, that's why I'm kind of doing the Tampa pregame video. This is actually going to be my last weekly update for three weeks. Uh, I won't be able to do an update on Friday probably because I'll be in Tampa. I may upload some kind of video, but it's not going to be a weight update. Uh, the following Friday I'll be on the cruise, so it won't be till the next Friday that I'll actually be able to do a weight update. So wish me luck. That's a long time away from the scale for me. Uh, so that's about it for this week. Um... I hope everyone's doing well. I am trying to catch up on YouTube videos. I'm a little bit behind. I'm behind on commenting, but I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Always remember, it's not just about what you've lost. It's about what you've gained. Have a good one.